Hello, folks, and welcome to your Monday afternoon Whiteout Weather Briefing. I'm Day Weather, meteorologist Mark Hewer. Well, we're going to be seeing some strong winds into this evening across sections of the state, some areas of light snow and snow showers and cold temperatures for your Tuesday and Wednesday, trending quiet and milder late in the week. Here through this evening and tonight, your yellow shaded area is going to be potentially looking at some strong and gusty west to southwest winds through about 7 or 8 o'clock. And we will see some 50 to 65 mile per hour gusts potentially still on I-25, Bordeaux, Bordeaux on south towards Chugwater and also on I-80 around the Arlington and Elk Mountain area. These are the two biggest locations for potential gusts in that 50 to 65 mile per hour range. Overnight tonight. North-northwest winds will be starting to develop as a cold front moves in, and we'll be looking at temperatures trending colder and a little snow shower activity late tonight. Along the Bighorns, onto the southeast, then the Laramie Range on westward. A little bit of light snow and snow shower activity tonight, especially after midnight. We could be seeing a trace to maybe one inch across lower elevations. Many lower elevations, though, just picking up a dusting or thereabouts. Could see one to three inches tonight for our mountains. That includes Powder River Pass, US 14, Togadee Pass, Teton Pass, and possibly I-80 around the Arlington and Elk Mountain area. A little bit of snow, but not much impacts into and through tonight. Now for Tuesday, cold air continues to funnel in from the north, upper level disturbance overhead, but it's out of Canada, so not a lot of moisture, but two to four inches of snow will be a possibility or mountains, also possibly including I-80 between Arlington and Elk Mountain, then also South Pass and Powder River Pass in US-14. Do expect, expect slick conditions for these areas. Otherwise, a little bit of light snow and snow shower activity tomorrow, traced to maybe one inch in some lower elevations with southwestern Wyoming being mostly dry, cold, and breezy, and strong and gusty north to northwest winds, Bighorns and Laramie Range on eastward tomorrow, north to northwest winds of 20 to 45 miles an hour, definitely going to be putting a chill on the air, and there will be some light snow and snow shower activity. All in all, though, not a lot of weather going on, just enough to create some impacts. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.